the Saskatoon Blades are anticipating the play a little bit better and getting to those loose pucks. Broncos do win the draw this time. Cave on the faceoff. Martin plays it down for Gordon. That's deflected away and moved up the wall by Dietz. Blocked by Lowry. Back into Gordon. Out front for Cave. Deflected away by Dietz. Good defensive play there. Here's Ferlin up to center. He lost it. Kicked ahead by Stransky. Gains the line. Takes it into the right corner. Bad angle shot stopped. Rebound. Back to the line. Dietz hammers it in and scores. Saskatoon with a 1-0 lead on an absolute rocket by Dietz from the top right circle as the Broncos got a little puck fo focused, I think, there, Terry. Saskatoon, Scarlet nearly took it back. Walker able to get the puck up to Stobin. Furland going to the net. Stobin out front. Furland deflecting it. And Laura Kynan got it with the blocker. Now Furland left half wall, trying to fish it out and does. Throws it out front to Dietz. Scores! His second of the game for Saskatoon as Dietz snuck in from the point uncovered. Furland set him up again, and it's 2-1 Saskatoon. And we've seen that a number of times from Darren Dietz. He likes to jump up in the play. He jumped in off his blue line. Michael Furland, who I think that's his 15th point in seven games uh, for the Blades, finds him. And a hard, quick, low shot that beats uh, E2 Laura Kynan. Now, Dietz scored, as I mentioned before, four goals in one game against the Broncos. He loves playing against Swift Current. Another two goals here today for Darren Dietz. That top line for Swift Current was very good in the first period. Haven't seen as much from them in the second half of the game. Valcourt up to Zajac. Valcourt's going to the net. Scores! A give and go by Zajac and Valcourt. And Valcourt was just allowed to get behind the Bronco D there. And converts the feed from Zajac. For whatever reason, Valcourt 